Okay, so already, hopefully you guys can uh, detect what type of reaction this is. Like you said, it's an elimination reaction, okay? That should be pretty obvious. Why? Because we're eliminating water from this molecule, okay? And you can see that here, the combination of this, this plus this equals this, okay? So what does that mean? Nothing is really happening except this being a catalyst, okay? So that's all that's going on there. Okay. So how would I know what type of elimination reaction this is? So is this an E1 or an E2 reaction? E1, but why? But an E2 can't happen in a tertiary? So it's because we have a good, well, good leaving group. We're going to make a good leaving group, okay? So the thing is, the other thing is that we don't have a very strong base, right? We don't have a base in here at all, okay? So we need a strong base to have uh, E1 um, uh, reaction, right? because we've got to um, remove that alpha proton, okay? So, what's going to happen? Can I erase all of this? So we're gonna turn a bad leaving group, like you guys mentioned, into a good leaving group, okay? The water of this is, or the solvent of this is water, okay? So the first reaction is going to be sulfuric acid reacting with water to make the hydronium ion, okay? I hopefully don't have to do that reaction anymore, right? Okay, so we're going to make the hydronium ion. And again, if you wanted to just use sulfuric acid, I wouldn't care too much, okay? I would give you the same amount of points. So first thing that's going to happen is we're going to take that bad leaving group and make it into a good leaving. So why couldn't the elimination happen all at once? Because we don't have a strong nucleophile to deprotonate, okay? So this is going to be a two-step elimination reaction. Okay? So we've got that. And and good leaving group leaves. Why would that leaving group leave at that point? It's more stable. It's more stable. Why? Because that charge. Charge makes things more stable. Well, no, it would lose the charge. Are you sure about that? So you're saying a charged oxygen is less stable than a charged carbon. Why does this thing want to do this? Tell me. It still becomes a secondary. Tell me. Don't just raise your hand. Tell me. Why are things more stable? Because the water loses the charge when it leaves, and then uh, there's a bunch of resonance. There's a bunch of resonance structures. How many times do we have to say that? like 500 million times, right? There's a bunch of resonance structures. We even did this same carbocation in the SN1 reaction that we made. Remember, E1 and SN1 reactions are competing reactions, okay? So, um, what's gonna happen now? Well, now we've got a uh, carbocation, right? And alpha to that carbocation, We've got these three hydrogens there, and three hydrogens there. It doesn't necessarily, who knows which one it's going to do. Like that. And that makes that double bond there. And what does it also give us back? Yep, the hydronium ion. which is, like we said, the catalyst. 
this is a true catalyst, right? H2SO4 breaks up into the hydronium ion and the um, uh, HSO4 minus ion, right? So, is everybody cool with this one? <laughs> 